Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Heidi. Right here, still in the box, haven't touched it. But first, please like, subscribe, and comment below. And if you would like to help me further, please stay to the end of the video and that will help the algorithm. Got my dog down here. She's wanting to help today. So anyways, if you see her tail going by, you'll know what that is. It's my dog, Nikki. So anyways, now on to the Heidi. This is the Heidi, okay. So here we have the unboxing, and I always tell you when you unbox her to take a picture of what it's like inside the box. Just fold these back like that, make a little crease maybe, and then take a picture of how it is in the box so that you can put it back together just the same way as it came. I always tell people to do that. And remember how the tag is on the edge of the box. They want everything exactly in place if you're going to return it. But I'm not going to return it, so I can take it out. She's not even hooked onto the, uh, oh, she's not even hooked onto the uh, bobby pins, and she doesn't even have a net. So I got no net, and she hasn't been hooked into the, this is the easiest one of getting her out that I've seen. Now this is a beautiful blonde, look at that blonde. That is just really beautiful. Now this one is a light brown with gold blonde highlights. And it is the same color exactly as the one I'm wearing. And I'm wearing the Renee from a few days ago. It's R20, R1226CH. And that's what it looks like, 1226CH. This one's actually H, 1226H, right like that. So there's a subtle difference between the two, a subtle difference. But this one, the one I'm wearing is light brown with chunky gold blonde highlights. And the one that I have here is the Heidi and it's light brown with golden blonde highlights, chunky. This one's chunky, this one's golden. It looks the same to me. <laughs> I don't know what the difference between CH and H is. If you know, if you've held, had these colors in Aesthetica before, I'd love to know because I don't see a difference at, in the beginning here. I'm just trying to get the tag off right here. There it is. Ooh, got the hair caught in it. Got the hair caught in it. There we go. I might as well tell you another story while I'm sitting here trying to get this out. I got caught in the chicken coop again. Can you believe that? I got caught in it again. Now, the chicken coop door is such <laughs> that you have to hold it closed uh, so the chickens don't get out because they're always trying to get out. They love to roam around the yard, but I have hawks around here, so I can't let them free range. But um, they're always trying to leave and vacate the premises. So if anybody knows a way to keep that door shut, I would love to know. You have to pull it to and either tie it with a string or something. But I would love an ingenious way, if somebody had a creative way, to hold that door closed while I go get my eggs from the egg boxes in the back. Now my egg boxes are in the back of the coop, so I have to walk through the coop to get them, which is fine. I have a pair of boots, and um, I just walk through, and the chickens love me, so I don't have a problem with that. Anyways, so here we are. This is the Heidi in R1426H, as opposed to CH. So I don't see a whole lot of difference between the two. There it are, right side by side, there it are. <laughs> Can you see a difference? I really don't see a difference. I don't know. 
One is, this one is the chunky blonde highlights. This one is the gold blonde highlights. I don't, if, the, if there's a difference, it's really, really subtle and it is totally lost on me. I don't see a whole lot of difference between them. Now, the first thing you wanna do, of course, is shake the tar out of it. Once you get it out, just shake it out. Really gonna like this wig, I know I am. And then do some back combing on it. Comb it up, comb it back, you know, in an opposite direct direction that it wants to go. And what you will find there is that you're waking up your wig. So that's the second thing I do after I shake the tar out of it as I back comb it. And that really wakes it up. Now this does not have Velcro adjusters. It has cup and hook. I ate that. I wish Aesthetica would go to Velcro. It's not that much more expensive. It's probably cheaper in the long run. But they probably have millions of these cup and hooks that they have to use. So anyways, this is the Heidi. She is very cute. I think I'm really going to like her. Very cute. She comes down nicely in the back. Look, she just takes a few minutes to style, honestly. It doesn't take much at all to style her. She is really, really short, and she's very cute. She is just a short little shag wig. That's all that she is. Very cute. Very short. I'm going to turn around and show you the back. And probably need to comb the back out a bit. But it's meant to be a shag. So it's going to go in different directions no matter what you do. It's got a slight flip up in the back. So we can comb the top down a little bit like that. And you can see that it's got the slight flip up in the back. That kind of a thing going on. So um, it's a stretch cap. It's open weave. And um, there are not Velcro adjusters. Again, it's cup and hook. Please get rid of the cup and hook, Aesthetica. Please get rid of them. Get that Velcro in there. It works so much better. Now, the bangs on this are three and a half inches. That's why they're, they look so good. That's why these bangs work so well. They're three and a half inches. The sides are three and three quarters. The crown is three and a half. The nape is just two inches, but it appears to come down long enough to cover my long hairline, at least close. So, and the weight is 2.5 ounces. Now, like I said, the color is light brown with golden blonde highlights. The other, the Renee, is light brown with chunky gold blonde highlights. That's the CH. This one is the H, 1426H. The 1426 is the same. The Renee has the CH, the Heidi has the H. This is gold blonde highlights. So if you can see a difference, make a comment below and tell me what you see. What do you see is the difference between this one and the Renee, the CH and the H. There's not much. It's very subtle if there's a difference. There might be a little bit more rootedness in this one, maybe, but it's really hard to tell. It's really very, very subtle. Well, let's take it off and have a look at the inside of it. Now, the inside of it, this is a stretch cap, an open weave. You see it's got all of the open weave in the front and it's, the cap is stretchy. It will stretch to fit your head. And up here is the comfort strip. And then we have the, just the cup adjusters and we have open ear tabs here and on the side here. So this is just your basic wig cap, traditional. This is a stretch cap, um, beautiful wig, not heat friendly that I can see. Just a plain old cute little wig. Now this would be great for a house wig, 
absolutely great for a house wig. It doesn't take but a second to put her in place and to style her. It doesn't take but a second. You just need a little brush and just go into town with her. And you can see how at the bangs fall perfectly in place and how the back comes down very nicely as well. Let's turn around, take another look at the back and see. Yep, she needs a little bit. Just when you put it on, you need to comb the top there in the back to make sure that that's all down where it's supposed to be. And you see how it flips up there. It's just like a little subtle flip in the back. So it's very cute, very stylish. I like it a lot. And um, I really, I knew I was going to like this. I knew it from the moment I got it. And I didn't even look in the box. The reason I knew it is because I looked at the measurements on it. And I saw that the bangs were three and a half inches and the nape is two inches. So two inches is fine with me. It seems to cover my uh, hairline just fine. Now, I wanna talk about something else really quick. Jesus. Jesus alone is my hope. He is my light and my strength. He is my song. He is my cornerstone and he is my solid ground through the fiercest of storms. In Jesus alone, my hope is found in this guy right there. He is my comforter, my all in all. And here in his love, I stand. This is the gift that he has for you of love and righteousness. So please accept that gift today. Ask him into your heart. Believe that he died on the cross for your sins. Believe that God raised him from the dead and proclaim him Lord. He is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Now, in tomorrow's video, um, I will be presenting Blazing Star Wigs. Blazing Star Wigs. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And remember to check out my shorts on YouTube. Remember, if you are winners uh, from the live, please contact me through my email in the description box below with your name and address. And I will see you tomorrow.